A lot of the presentation with the first presentation you will see in this presentation also because I think uh, I love a lot about awesome <laughs> with our group. Um, presentation Pro Space Truckers Red Frog presenting. I want to talk uh, to you about the real, the real heroes of New Eden. About the toughest of all space cowboys, about the oil and grease of Eve economics. And of course, everyone knows about who I'm talking about. Let's talk about the pilots who have even bigger uh, circles than the already big ships. And we're talking about truckers. A warm welcome to you all from Red Frog Freight. I'm having some sound back. My name is uh, Red Frog Gnaeus Grasses. Uh, there is one running around, and that's the assisting frog, Tadashi. He will give you all a, a small sign with a Red Frog item of a Red Frog uh, sign on it. If you write your in-game name on it and you put it into the bag at the end, everyone will get at least a 10 million ISK just for attending. And we will, for this group that is in here now, we will also uh, share prizes, one freighter of your choice. Uh, we have four plaques to give to you. A uh, fighter I don't even can pronounce the name of. And we have uh, five prize, 100 mil to spend. We will uh, draw that at the end of the day and uh, give you all a mail. So at this evening, tomorrow you will know if you have some extra ship into your hangar from us. What are we talking about? First of all, about uh, courier contracts. Why there are still people not totally convinced of how it works, and if it works, we're talking about Red Frog Alliance, where I belong to. A small word about ganking and gankers. The average Red Frog. Uh, what about joining Red Frog and questions? First, a courier contract. It's not um, whoever made a courier contract in this room. Plenty. With Red Frog, that's even better. <laughs> the thing you have to know, say for instance you need to move uh, 800 million of stuff and you want to contract, of course, to Red Frog. Um, so you make a contract with 900 million of collateral. And collateral is a difficult thing to understand, uh, so we have to talk about it. You have to contract 900 mil. Um, and for instance, you have a contract of 8.3 million as a reward. That's what the pilot will get when he finishes his contract at the end. What does it cost to you? 10,000 is for the contract. And if the pilot succeeds, um, 8.3 million. The pilot that takes the contract will pay the collateral to the EVE bank. So he will pay 900 million to the EVE bank and he cannot get it back until he delivers your stuff. Yes. <laughs> so what will happen? There are two choices with contracts. Whether you deliver or not. If you deliver, the pilot gets his 900 million back. It's his own money. And he will get, yes, he will get 8.3 million in this case as a reward. For that reward of 8.3 million, he risks his ship, his implants, and your collateral, normally about 3 billion. So if you're talking about you pay much for the freight, 8 million against 3 billion. The numbers will come back later. What if the pilot doesn't deliver? The 900 million he's, is gone. He will not get his uh, rewards. And you will get and your reward and the collateral. Basically, don't do it. But if you have a shuttle in a contract for 1 billion, I lose the contract. You get 1 billion for the shuttle you lost. That's not the way I like you to use it, but as we had in the uh, example, if you have 800 million, please put a collateral of 900 million. Why? Because you still have to get your stuff back. You had a reason to contract the stuff to a certain place, and you lost it. So you have to make new arrangement, take uh, some fee for that. If the pilot gets ganked, the gankers get the stuff. So it's not if we are gang that we uh, take all the stuff. No, the gangers do. But also, 
uh, if we not deliver, we can fail a contract. And then the pilot gets the goods. Why is that important? If you make an, a contract for a collateral of 1 billion and you put in blueprints for 100 billion, a pilot could decide not to deliver. You will get 1 billion collateral and the pilot will get 1 billion of 100 billion of, of blueprints. So be sure that the collateral matches uh, with the, what's in the contract. <coughs> now, of course, if you're talking about freighters, this is what we are, this is what we fly. We only fly freighters. If you fly, if you give us one blueprint, we will bring it with a freighter. Nothing smaller is allowed in Red Frog. Who are those Red Frog guys then? We have three uh, pieces. Red Frog, most handsome pilots. I'm Red Frog, of course. Uh, we do the high sec hauling, one billion collateral. We have Blue Frogs that do the five billion collateral, also high sec, and we have Black Frogs that go, that guys fly everywhere and bring the stuff around. 20 billion collateral and their ships are even more expensive than mine. What we have seen in the last years is that customers trust pays. We don't need to want, if we don't need and don't want to be the cheapest, we want to be the best. And how do we do it? By protecting the customer. I cannot say that I handle your contract nicer, I dust it before I deliver it, but we can look at your contracts and try to protect you. We talked about collateral. If you understand the concept of collateral, what does it mean if you make a contract with zero collateral? Basically, that's a gift. So you give it to me, you say, I don't care whether you bring it or not. If you don't bring it, give me zero risk. And that's uh, for a, uh, a public contract, an easy uh, choice. I don't, will not give it to you. Uh, last, I had a contract where someone changed reward and collateral. So I got a reward of 1 billion and a collateral of 13 million for a contract. Yes, that's cheap. 1 billion for 10 jumps. That was a very nice contract. But because it's Red Frog and I am Red Frog, I will then tell to the customer, I really like your tip. Could it be you made a mistake? But that's for Red Frog. Try it in public and your money is gone. We heard it in the first speech also, ethics. No zero collaterals. It's even so if you take as a Red Frog a zero collateral and you promise that you will do the contract, you will be kicked. Zero collaterals are not being flown. You can say, okay, but why? We trust you guys. Yeah. We trust you too, but if you get, if I get kanked, you will get sales, nothing. So to protect the customer, we will not accept the contract, we reject it, and go and send a mail to the customer, please make a new contract. We are friendly in chat. The thing uh, we heard in the first um, speech about uh, maturity, ratio speech, we do that. We try really to be nice to each other, to the customers, we still make jokes. We don't scam. If someone on account scams others, and we can see that we, can, we have all full RPs of all our pilots, if we find something fishy, you're gone. And professional. If we send a mail, it's a professional mail. We behave professional. We don't say, you stupid customer. We told you 60 times that a zero collateral is plain stupid. If you do it again, we take it and you get um, whatever. No, we don't do that. We send the same mail. Okay, in our chat we say, okay, <clears throat> I have one again, but we'll never do that to the customer. Um, we do that not for nothing. Do we earn something with it? Yes. We made it uh, 2.5 trillion in 2014. And that's not the money for Red Frog, that's the money we pilots get for Red Frog. Black Frog is, of course, doing much better. <laughs> you see also the jumps, you see the million of volumes, that's it. 
And of course, you cannot talk about hauling freight and high sack. For instance, you have to talk about gankers. Let's put the gankers and the freighters beside. Um, just a little check. How much was the, uh, the freighter flying around with? Around, about. How many money? Freighter. Hmm? Freighter. Yes, but how many money in total is you risking? I told you. Three billion. Okay, now let's talk about ganking. They fly around in ships at 10 million. So they're risking 10 million. Yeah, 10 million, still there. If they take one of the ships with 1 billion collateral, if I 1 billion stuff in it, their overall profit will be 21 million. Profit. I have to fly three contracts of the first, more than two and a half just to make the same profit. But the risk is not quite the same. So what do we think then about gankers? If we as Red Frog think about ganking, how would we uh, talk about, what, how do we think about how we encounter them? Well, maybe this is a surprise, but we think about them like this. Why are people paying money for freighters, like us, to bring the stuff, because they're afraid. You don't want to be in a ship with three million isk, flying around. You want them to do it by Red Frog, so we don't care. We don't are mad. Okay, I have to be honest to you guys. When at one day, they shot three freighters, it took me more than three minutes to realize again I love them. But still, that's the basic. If there were no gankings, if everyone could just fly and it would be fine, it wouldn't matter. And still, I'm flying with ships, three billion and risking, and then they talk a bit about me like care bears. I am flying around, everybody can see me, wearing all those gold, know how um, much I'm worth, they can scan me, if they scan me and they want to attack me, I am as fast as lightning. <laughs> I see them coming and I decide, and I'm gone. Not exactly. And then they call us the Care Bears, and not the ones that risk 10 million. So no, no, we are not Care Bears. I, take a pic I have taken a picture with me of the average uh, holder of Red Frog. He looks like this. <laughs> He walks there in the baddest areas in Eve with all the gold and, as I said, not the muscle. And say, okay, come to me. You cannot call it a Care Bear. Then, join Red Frog. Why bother? You won't get rich. You need a bunch of skills. You need two accounts. You kill nobody. I tried with a freighter, but it doesn't work. <laughs> No one fears you. If I enter a system, it's not so that all the gangs will, oh, wait, it's a red frog. Chuk. No. <laughs> and probably you will burn out in three months, and that's no joke. Most red frog start, take one freighter, then two, three, four, five. After uh, three months, they have six, and burn out. And most of them will come back months later, but then with just one freighter. Still, people are joining us. We are easy going. You have to do contracts, but only one a month. That's absolutely nothing. We have hundreds of frogs who will help you. We trust to a, 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 an insane level. If, I, uh, if, a, cost of a, if a colleague of mine asks for 10 billion, he will get it. Can it go wrong? Yes, it can. We had one red frog that stole actually 41 billion for about three days, and then he came back and said, sorry, and gave his money back, just because he lost his friend in, friends in Red Frog. <laughs> we have good tools. The price we have is one, we uh, ask 1.5 ISK per contract, 1 million per jump. As I said, you won't get rich. The average money you make in Red Frog per hour is around 9, 10 million, not more. 
So you will fly a lot, and we will fly also a lot of AFK, because it's not the, the, the big money maker, and we have the five to 10 percent insurance. And that I have to talk about. We fly around with three billion ISK. If I get shot, my maximum what I pay is 200 million, and the rest is paid by uh, our insurance, our internal insurance. And how do we pay that? Because every contract I take, five to 10 percent is going to the insurance. If we have much ganking, it will be 10 for maybe a week, but normally it's five percent. And of course, fun. If you like to join that community, join Channel Profit. There's a Channel Profit in the motto is how you can apply. If you apply, have patience. Um, it's not strange if you have to wait three to six months to enter. Why? Because we don't let anyone in, but we wait what the queue does. If you see that we have contracts all within one day, we will not let uh, new frogs in. If you see that contracts become one day old, two days old, then we let in new frogs. So every frog now, if I don't take the contracts, we will get new ones. We bring 10 new ones in. If those 10 new ones don't deliver, we bring 10 new ones again, till the queue drops. And that normally drops to zero then for maybe five to six minutes. But you don't want to be a red frog with a zilch queue. Um, I want to thank in this, but you, get, uh, you can ask questions of this one, but I want to thank uh, CCP really for making this uh, event happening, for making EVE possible. My red frog mates, there are several in the, uh, in the room, uh, so make sure you have that red frog thing, because you're writing your name on it, will get you 10 million and maybe a freighter. And uh, of course you all, because I think what makes EVE real is that you all are here and all, you all are playing. Questions? Yeah. How many freighters do get ganked? Uh, uh, you, you did point out the uh, 2.5 trillion, but uh, how much do you pay in collateral? I think the average is that uh, f uh, about 0.02% uh, of the contracts are ganked. Um, I don't... How, how, much, how much of your profit goes for uh, paying collateral for being ganged? Uh, 5%, what I said. Roughly, so, that's a uh, round about the... Uh, yeah, so ma basically I made like uh, 20,000 contracts, 200,000 jumps or something like that. You can imagine what 5% is. Um, but be assured, the, if I look at the ganked ships, it's normal. And uh, we, we are paying the insurance ourselves, like a normal in insurance, but we have no one that makes profit of it. So basically, um, it's just that you feel that you don't have to have that. My first 10,000 contracts are made without any gank. So I was boasting about that. Baddest thing I ever could do, but... <laughs> <laughs> Three times in one day. By good one. Uh, no, there were no goons. I don't uh, remember. There were no goons. Were uh, I think the pizzas? Sometimes come around. A lot. If you want to know, I would uh, suggest talk to uh, Tadashi. He is a black frog. Right. You can see it because I'm more handsome, but. Uh, <laughs> You can ask and he can tell you in depth. More questions? No, absolutely nothing. But um, the way we move with that speed, uh, we are fatigued enough. <laughs> Uh, yes, it uh, has to, to do with two things. First of all, uh, we want Red Frogs to be really um, dedicated to Red Frog. And it needs dedication to fly one blueprint with a freighter. Yeah. So you get another a group of people playing it. And the second of all is we try not to get the stuff lost for the customer. 
if we would do it in a shuttle, uh, our insurance should then pay one billion, and the shuttle is shot e even easier than a, than a freighter. So for insurance way, uh, we say you take the biggest ship. It will not be fast, but uh, it has the highest chance of uh, reaching its target. Oh, sorry, you will be next? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's due to uh, uh, something we can don't do anything about it. If you uh, put a can into a contract, you have to station trade. So we need one person, we have one person in Red Frog, one account in Red Frog, one tomb, and he uh, contracts it to another account, to another uh, tomb. We never ever fly with our Red Frog accounts, a freighter. So our freighters are our MPC corps, our own corps. Because so if we are a war deck and people do that for some reason, it hasn't. Uh, we don't are, are affected by it. The contracts are flown by pilots that nobody knows. Yeah, the Red Frogs will know them. Yeah, we have three accounts, no problem. Um, if you are deciding to take another tune for, uh, for freighting, for another uh, freighter pilot, you can of course take one account and on one account have the contract alt and the freighter alt. Because if you need the um, station trade, you can do that cross links. Any other? You had a question still. Yeah, that was sort of the same thing what we just uh, heard about the, the that you have one character in the prop, but the other character can be from another corporation. Yep. Because my character is in the fleet and she flies the freighter itself. Yep. And I've done lots of runs for the prop itself from fuel and stuff, and that's about an, almost the amount that you're saying, because fuel is expensive, the materials. Yep. And I have an empty character, so that would be cool. Um, then, oh, yeah. Uh, yes or no? Yeah. Yes or no? Um, a lot of frogs do. Um, at one point last year, I was flying 11 freighters. I don't care about fitting anymore, <laughs> because <laughs> that's not nice. But if you, if I now fly, I fly now less, like two freighters. Yes, then I take all uh, fittings I like, and uh, depending on how big the contract is, um, I fit for the back journey. Uh, if you are at the keyboard, yeah. Yeah, I was. <laughs> have you trained blue frogs? Pardon, have we? Have you trained blue frogs? Yes, I have. Sorry. And I lost two ships within three days. Uh, altogether, I think 14 billion I lost, and we are not assured a blue frog. So uh, at that point, I became a Care Bear Red Frog. <laughs> <laughs> then, yes, another frog. Uh, basically, uh, there's mis I, I understand the question. The question is, what skills do you need to be a real good freighter? I cannot answer. Why? Because we have in Red Frog the list, that is what you have to train, and I train them. So, but if you go to the Red Frog site, in the manuals, there is described what the skills do and what I bring. So I cannot answer it right away. Um, I think I need to end also. <laughs> One uh, thing, the, what I said, everyone gets at least 10 million uh, ISK. Um, I'd rather have you spend it on trying Red Frog once than to buy a cat, please. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you all, and I hope to see you coming days. <laughs>